Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tim here with TestDemi.com. We're back with our test automation, or if you will, say our Selenium web driver with Python tutorials for absolute beginners. We're on tutorial 25. We've been making progress from day one. Hope you've been staying with us because we're going to keep digging deep, deep, deep to build, those right, to build those right foundations. So when we get to Selenium web driver, we're ready to roll. You dig? All right, so, uh, Today's tutorial, like I mentioned, is tutorial 25, and we're going to be focusing how to focusing on how to use Python to write data to a file. It can be a, a text file, a TXT file, an Excel file, or any other type of file. So let's jump into it, shall we? Let's go! Come on, let's dig it. All right, so let's uh, bring up my uh, PyCharm IDE here. As you can see, I just have a few uh, notes here for you guys here. Uh, when you're talking about files, uh, you have uh, with Python's programming language a way, like I said, to do file input output input as in write into files and doing any kind of output, perhaps if it's reading. And here are some of the um, functions or arguments you can use if you use R. Uh, uh, actually, I shouldn't say functions or arguments. Actually, the different modes, right? If you use the R mode, it helps you. Uh, uh, it gives you the ability to read. Put a file in read-only mode to read from a file in read-only mode. If you use the W option, it gives you the file to write to a file, so the write-only mode. Or if the file is already there, what it's going to do is going to overwrite the file when you use the W write uh, write-only mode. Uh, you can only also use it to create new files, which we're going to do in some of uh, this particular tutorial. Uh, you can use the W plus, or I believe the R plus, to actually uh, open a file in read or uh, read and write mode and also you can use the a uh, function to do uh, an append to a file okay and uh, we're going to look at a few of those options so let's go uh, let's look at uh, option one we're going to say uh, file one we're going to call this file file one and this is how you guys can write to a file um, and you want to do you want to use the open the open function right let's go ahead and show that again so you can see the open uh, it's a function here so you want to go and use the open function and you want to go ahead and write your file name so we're going to say um test one let's just call it test one for simplicity right and we're going to do that txt right when you do this you can either use uh you can use either like um the file uh extension you want to write it to uh excuse me the directory path or you can just use this default directory path uh if you don't actually designate one it's going to actually uh, create the file if you use the write mode in the actual direction you're working from live so i'm going to show you guys that so we go right, and it's pretty simple. So you just use the, uh, in this case, we're going to write, write. We're doing write into files. So we're going to use the W uh, mode. Then what you want to do is, uh, what we're doing is this object is going to be created using this open file uh, function. Is We're saving it to this file underscore one uh, variable. So now we have it stored here on the file underscore one. And we're going to hit dot. And you can see the different uh, variety of methods that can be called. We're going to use the actual write, as you can see here. So what do you want to write? We want to write something to our file. We're going to say this is our first test case write into a file. Okay. And we do that. And as soon as we do that, the most important thing you also want to do when you write to a file or even when you, uh, uh, when you write to a file, you want to make sure you close it, right, uh, to make sure it actually uh, runs properly. Uh, so go ahead and close it and now once we run this you're going to see uh it's actually going to create go ahead and cr go is going to create this file let me show you guys here so this is the directory i'm working from i don't have a lot of stuff this is not necessarily the best way to do things but i'm just doing i'm doing a, a lot of test cases here but under under test uh under test demi underscore ta it's going to go ahead and create the file in this particular uh directory structure here under test demi underscore ta and let me show you where guys where that's located on my actual local so uh, here's where my file is actually lo uh, located. You can see the actual path. Uh, C users, admin, PyCharm, project, and test demi TA. So it's actually going to create that file here. Uh, so let me go ahead and um, minimize this here for you guys uh, so you can see it as it creates that file. Right? So you can see the latest file I have is 124am uh, uh, write files. Um, so let's go ahead and run this. Let me move, let me move this over because it's going to um, move it. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this. And now that's run, and if you see it here, it just created a file test one number one, which is the file we created here. Uh, that txt, you can see it was 1:25 a.m. So if I double-click this, uh, and let me show it to you here in Notepad, you can see it says um, you can see it says the file name here. 
it says this is our first test case right into a file right uh, so that's one file type you guys can do uh, another cool thing you can do is you can actually uh, let's comment this guy out uh, you can actually create you you know write this file to an Excel sheet right just do the uh, XLS uh, XLS file extension it's gonna actually uh, create this file uh, Excel file so we're gonna say this is our first test case using Excel all right so you guys can see the difference right so we just go ahead and run it and again if you look here uh, on our file we don't actually have it right you don't have that XLS uh, so let's go ahead and run it I ran it and you see it just created it at 1 26 a.m. right uh, so it created it. so let's go ahead and open that my Excel might give me an issue but we can just ignore that um, and you can see it here it says this is our first test case using Excel right into a file uh, so um, so we have that uh, so that's how you write to a file using Excel uh, excuse me using Python it's pretty stra uh, straightforward uh, just make sure you use the open function and use the write mode uh, do the dot write if you want to actually write to it because if you don't use this dot write uh, method here it's just going to create a blank file empty file with no text in it but in this case we put the text we wanted in here we can go ahead and close it now there's one more thing you can do you can actually go ahead and um, automatically close the file and that's with the uh, it's called the with as statement so let's go ahead and do the same thing with the with as statement so we're going to say here we're going to say with um, open so we're going to do the same thing and here you're going to say uh, we're going to say call this test uh, we're going to let's just call this test file 2 and we're going to say dot txt okay and the same thing you want to go ahead and write because you're saying you want to write use the write mode and go ahead and put your colon here and what you want to do here you want to go ahead and um, uh, you want to go ahead and actually uh, open the file so what you're going to do here is like we did on the previous one um, we're actually going to do uh, let's see here let's go ahead and call this um, uh, let's go ahead and open file open and let's do that um, actually let's just call this actually this is not so so what you want to do sorry you want to do with open uh, right and you want to do as that's the as right so it's going to be with as sorry that's that my fault so it's going to be with as uh, and you do as you know you can call this you can mention you can name because this is pretty much an object you want to create right you can call this um uh, demo file you can call it whatever right demo file uh, you can call it a single variable F or T or whatever we're just gonna call this demo file right let's just go ahead and call this demo underscore file and now we do our colon and we're gonna call it we're gonna say demo file dot and it's the same way we did here right dot right so we're gonna do dot right right and what do we want to write this is a file using the this is a file this is a file using the using the with as statement right uh, so once you do that uh, we should be all set so it's going to go in it's, it's going to go ahead and create this and we can go ahead and see it right so if you look back here uh, latest files at 128 a.m. Uh, yeah 128 a.m. and we don't actually as you can see um, we don't actually have uh, this uh, test underscore file to that txt so let's go ahead and run this you can see right here just created it at 129 a.m. and it says test underscore file uh, to txt and also it created this one because we we don't have this commented out but this is our focus right here so if we open it up you can see it says it here it says this is a file using the with that statement so and the good thing about using this with that statement right like I mentioned guys if you use the with that statements in your code these are just options I'm showing you you do not actually have to use this dot close because if you don't use this dot close uh, Python is actually gonna you're not really efficient using your memory when it comes to uh, that particular computer language concept and it's actually not gonna close that file your programs are not actually gonna function properly so if you want to always make sure your pro pro uh, programs function properly when you're using dot uh, right you always want to make sure you're closing those files out right but if you forget to close it uh, you're going to have problems but so the best thing to do is Python will automatically close it for you if you use the with as so if you notice I didn't have to use that here and it went in and close it so um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys uh, actually let me show you one more thing here let me go ahead and comment uh, these out so if I want to go ahead and uh, append to this right remember I mentioned the append method so the same thing here what I want to do is I'll just use the a function excuse me, the a mode and uh, what I'll do here is I'll come here and we can do that 
that right and let's say uh, we'll just say here this is appending to the with as mode statement all right so it's going to actually go ahead and append it to this particular file all right so let's go ahead and run that all right we ran it all right so we can see 1:30 a.m and you can see it here it says this is a file this is the first thing we created and see what it appended it says this is this is appended to the with as mode statement so uh, just wanted to show you guys that a few uh, things you can actually leverage when you're actually creating and creating your own code and building your program. Because when we get to using Selenium, these are a lot of the actual skills and method that you, methods you're going to have to leverage. So I want to go ahead and encourage you to practice, practice, practice. And uh, what I want you to do is, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, go ahead and leave a comment. Be sure to like it. Give us a thumbs up so we can get more people viewing this and actually enlarge our coast. Because like I mentioned, our goal is to get about 10,000 users, manual testers, or developers that want to get into test automation. That's our goal. And uh, don't forget, uh, like I said, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also check out testdemi.com. We have some free tutorials on there for those trying to get into uh, software testing that do not have a job. Uh, with no experience, we can kind of help you out. So I'll see you guys, like always, in the next video. Much love. Peace. It's Tim. Check it out. See you soon. All right.